Major development in your second stimulus check today as push is underway to put a second stimulus check and a second stimulus package items into a federal budget bill that has a deadline of December 11th. It's a tactic that no one saw coming and ultimately it can work. The Republicans way or the highway. Give us the stimulus we want or we're shutting down the government and you're not gonna get your stimulus check to uh, go to the hairdresser or even go to the casino. What would Sir Lloyd say? He'd say move out of the way. <laughs> move out of the way because we're about to do some stimulus the way we want it. Uh, this is incredible progress, and this is on top of your $2,400 if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or whatever benefits. This is in addition to the money I'm getting viewers right now, not five days from now, not five weeks from now. $5,000, $20,000, $10,000 on continuing to get viewers. And this is not an addition, this is in addition to the, the bigger stimulus bill that would come shortly thereafter. This is an emergency stimulus bill that would be a stimulus check and extension of unemployment benefits right now that you get in 10 days from now you would get it before the holidays this is breaking news it's good news and this is monday's afternoons l.i. light Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Afternoons LA with bombshell details across the board. There's so much breaking today, whether it's Janet Yellen or this new stimulus in the CR. Hashtag CR for stimulus. What is a CR? I'll discuss that. And I'll discuss the details of the provisions, the routing times, and more in this video. But first, like and share this video. Please subscribe to this video. Subscribe because... Ultimately, what I'm going to talk about in this video for your second stimulus check and your second stimulus package, that money won't be landing there today or tomorrow or any time of the next between Monday and Friday. But what I'm getting viewers around the clock, 24-hour turnaround time, is five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars of money right now. Not five days from now, not five weeks from now, and not five months from now. This is CARES Act One money. This is escalated benefits. This is EIDL. This is incredible sums of money that, with the exception of EIDL, is all free money. It's all free money. It's stimulus money for you. It was dedicated to the cities and states for you, and you need to get it right now because guess what? Tomorrow is December 1. And there's only about 14 days thereafter for this money to sit around for you to grab. Otherwise, it's going away. So I need you to get this money right now. Please subscribe. And I also have now eight incredible volunteers or nine incredible volunteers who are stepping up to really help you get this money. Money right now. Thousands and thousands of dollars. And it's for you to get. So please subscribe. Also like this video. In this video, I'll be going over why there's incredible excitement about a stimulus deal perhaps to be hatched by no later than December 11th, but could be hatched this week, as the Senate reconvened session and the House reconvened session within the next 24 hours together, and that stimulus will be in the budget bill that's called the Continuing Resolution, or CR. What are the deal provisions, and why is hashtag CR for stimulus the big new purple power push? Because you want them to repurpose that CARES Act 1 money, that $800 billion that would be a $5,000 stimulus check. And guess what? Mitch wants to give you FPC retroactive to December. That would be about $6,000. We're doing really good, but we need to really push because ultimately this has to work because we only have a few number of days to get this done. Boy, a lot of developments, and let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news, as you sit here today, is that there is so much happening today that is just overwhelming. So let me go over all the words, all the details, where we are, and procedurally what's going on. I'll give you the end result first, and then I'll back up and give you the details. The end result is that if they did this right, if they, Congress, did this right, you could have stimulus check and stimulus relief in your hands by December 21st, no later than that. 
And if they did it starting this week, you could get it about 10 days from now. And what you could get is upwards of about $1,200 stimulus check and upwards of about $6,000 retroactive FPUC. So people on unemployment benefits would get about $7,000 plus and people who are just on stimulus checks would get $1,200. But of course, there would also be the dependents checks. There would be the adult dependents checks. So family of five, you could get a $6,000 stimulus check. This is a lot of money and this is an emergency action. And that's why... Purple Power has a big new campaign. Let me go over the details of what the provisions are and what this thing is. <laughs> CR, I mean, is, what is that, car from Honda? I just don't know what that is. Continuing Resolution. It's called Continuing Resolution. It's the budget bill. It's the budget bill. It's the budget bill that runs the federal government. They got to do it every three months. You've heard me do this video in July, and you heard me do this video in, I think it was October. They got to do it every three months, and it's due December 11th deadline is December 11th. Now, the last two times they've done the CR, they haven't waited to the last day. They've done it a few weeks ahead of time. That's the really good news. The second good news is that the Senate reconvened session today, the House re reconvened session tomorrow. So they're in town and they're on the floor voting in the next 24 hours, both House of Congress. You got that so far? Okay. So then what is this budget bill? Well, the budget bill is to run the federal government. It's not a stimulus bill, but... It's always had stimulus in it. <laughs> and who was the person who put stimulus in it last time? No joke, the cows and Nancy Pelosi. I'm not joking. Why do you think I come? Uh, I came up with the Calcino and sirloin? Because it actually was real. In the last CR, when the last budget bill came up, Nancy Pelosi said, we need something for the farmers of their cows. And so we're going to put stimulus in there for the farmers of the cows. No one else got stimulus, not the, not the cats and not the, not the geese and not the chickens, but the cows got stimulus. And sirloin went out and bought, bought a calcino, the, not a calcino, a cowalac. He goes to calcino with a cowalac. And the rest is history. Well, now history is being rewritten because not this time, Sir Loin, but this time us, the visitors, the Calcino, may finally have our cake. And the cake is a, a, a an incredible negotiating tactic, which we have not had, I don't think, since this, since the saga began, which is take the deal or we're shutting down the federal government. Lord, I can't believe this. Let me explain what this is. Well, the option of no CR is the federal government shuts down. The option of no deal on the CR is the federal government shuts down. We close the door. Nancy Pelosi doesn't get a check for the month of December, doesn't get a check for the month of January. Uh, I, I don't know who pays for the inauguration of Joe Biden. I just Everything shuts down. And no one wants to shut down things when it doesn't give them the check. So suddenly the ammunition to get this done is to stop their stimulus check, <laughs> to stop their monthly check, unless they give us our stimulus check. And who's behind this? The reports claim that the Republicans are behind it. Because the Republicans are sick and tired of Nancy Pelosi wanting to do this enormous, enormous thing of stimulus. And they simply say, you know what, we have some emergency things right now, Nance, and that's things that are coming up in December that are expiring. We need this done right now. It's logical. Anyone else would see it as logical. You would see it as logical. I would see it as logical. Stimulus check needs to be done right now. Unemployment benefits needs to be done right now. Mortgage, rent, and student debt. I'll go over each of the provisions in a second. And so that is what the threat is. Here's our proposal of a CR. We're introducing it as a bill in the Senate. That's how they do it. They introduce it as a bill to the Senate. They put it on the Senate floor and they say, oh, and by the way, the CR also has five provisions. Stimulus check, FPUC, blah, 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 blah. And they go through it. And so then they pass it because guess who controls the Senate? Still the GOP. They send it to the House and then Nancy Pelosi says, ah, where's the money for my hair? <laughs> it's Vita. I'm, I'm not signing this. I need money for my hair. And suddenly the, McConnell can say, okay, fine, shut down the government. I'm just tired of playing this game with you. Shut down the government. You don't want to give what Americans need, then we're going to shut down the government. So now let me go over the deal provisions that are in there. And this is what's really exciting. One, because they're generally what you need. And two, because we have room to do our thing, Purple Power. First, unemployment benefits. Thank goodness. Unemployment benefits are all expiring in just a few weeks. Now, let me explain what's expiring. PUA, Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, which is federal 
created CARES Act 1 created in March unemployment for people who are independent contractors expires in December. There's nothing a state can do to extend it. It's a federal uh, it's a federal instrument. It expires in December. Second, people who have been on unemployment since the month of February have gotten additional weeks from a program called FPEUC. That's expiring in late December. The and if your state is not stepping in and saying, I'm giving you additional weeks of unemployment benefits because we're doing extended state unemployment benefits, there's nothing left for you to get UI benefits, to get unemployment benefits. Some states have stepped forward. Illinois, um, Hawaii, and uh, New Mexico, reported, according to my viewers, have said that they have stepped in those states and said, we're going to give you additional weeks of unemployment benefits coming in January. So don't worry, we'll take care of you. But the rest of you, nothing. FPUC, Federal Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, that goes on top of UI and PUA, that expired in July, that would come in. What would it be and how retroactive would it be? It would be $250 to $400 a week, retroactive to September. Now, even in the worst case scenario, let's say $300 a week or $250 a week, uh, you know, September, October, November, December, that's four months, that's 16 weeks at $300 a week. That's, you know, that's about $5,000, $6,000 just there alone. So that is good because you don't want your unemployment benefits to stop on January 1st. That's insane. It's inhumane. Second, the addition of FPUC on top of that retroactive is incredible. So you would get a very nice five, $6,000 check right before the holidays just for that alone. Then let's turn to unemployment benefits. Let me turn to you, uh, stimulus checks. There would be a stimulus check in there, but the details of the stimulus check are not detailed in the news reports. It's presumed, but again, we don't know that it would be a $1,200 stimulus check it would be twelve hundred dollars for it would be a thousand dollars for dependents it would be twelve hundred dollars for adult dependents it would be a thousand dollars for children it would not be taken out for child support that's what's presumed but we don't know for certain and ultimately it's freely up to negotiations and that's where purple power steps it in you need to tag Mnuchin and McConnell and McConnell's communications director on Twitter and say, hey, repurpose that CARES Act one money that eight hundred billion dollars of city round and put it and put the repurposing of it as a stimulus check in the CR. And that would amount to a $5,000 stimulus check to go out. Imagine if we got all that done, a $5,000 stimulus check and about $6,000 of unemployment, $11,000. And that's before you talk to your talk about your children, your husband or wife. That's incredible good solution to just get us to January. This is a temporary fix. Next, it would be an eviction moratorium, a mortgage forbearance, and a student loan debt repayment uh, halt. All really good, so you wouldn't be evicted, you wouldn't lose your home during this pandemic to carry us at least to January. And then come January, we would do the bigger stuff. So where is the $2,400 SSI and SSDI? That would be in a separate bill. Where is the hazard pay? In a separate bill. Where is the multiple stimulus checks? In a separate bill. And ultimately, this has to be done. There is no universe of economics anywhere that Janet uh, Yellen, the new Biden uh, Treasury Secretary appointee today, would subscribe to that says, don't give stimulus to Ameri millions of Americans now in November and have them wait to February to get it. It doesn't work that way. The economy will tank into a very bad economic downturn in just a few days if there is no stimulus in this economy. So this is really good news to great news because ultimately the negotiation tactic of shutting down the federal government or giving Americans the stimulus they need is just so dirty and works so well. Love it. All right, now let's turn to $2,400 SSI and SSDI. Yes, that would be a standalone bill. It would not be today. It would not be this week. It would be a separate bill. It would have three provisions in it. First, $200 a month, every month, all the way up to December 31st is what Biden wants to pay you. That would amount to $2,400, $2,600, or up to $4,000, depending on how he writes it, because Warren wanted it up to $4,000. Second, a one-time lifetime increase of up to 20%. So if you're at $1,000 a month now, you get to $1,200 in lifetime. 
Third, an annual step up, an annual increase based upon a new benchmark. The current benchmark is COLA. So when COLA stays flat for 9,000 years and never moves and your price of eggs go up, you're like, what's going on? Why am I getting more? Why am I not getting more benefits annually? Well, the new benchmark would tie you to something that moves up as price of egg and milk goes up as well. Three incredible things that would not be in replacement of stimulus check. It would be in addition to a stimulus check. Then... Boy, the viewers of this channel continue to get big money. And I want you to get this big money today and this week, and I'm telling you why. Because tomorrow's December 1st, and guess what happens after that? In about 14 days, this money could be gone. It could be gone. And I'm going to use an example. On Holidays LLA, which I went live for today, one viewer jumped in and said what I've been predicting. In Broward County, Florida, which I've been detailing since I started this series uh, not last Thursday, but the Thursday before, about 11 days ago, I said Broward County has a rent grant. Miami-Dade has a rent grant. Go on their website. Well, guess what the viewer said? The viewer said Broward County's rent grant, which has been open this entire time in which I've been doing this video, closes tomorrow. So you see what's happening. Things are opening and closing. San Diego County reportedly opened just two days ago. New York reportedly is opening something on December 1st. Things are opening and closing. They're not going to stay around forever. Ultimately, I have a lot of viewers on this channel. I have you know 2 million views approximately sometimes per day. And those 2 million viewers are rushing to get the rent grants. And I don't detail every single success story on this channel. All those people are grabbing these rent grants. And you need to grab them as well. So where do you get them? You get them at your your city or county or state, you're looking for rent grant or, or, or what I would call rent, you, rent assistance or rent help. The same thing, just different words. Use simple words like rent assistance. Then you want to call your you want to call your city hall, your county hall, or your state housing authority. You're looking for rent assistance because you cannot pay it because of the pandemic. This is money that was given to your cities and counties from the federal government. This is CARES Act one grant money. It's not required that you be a certain type of situation or a certain type of rent. Go get it. Don't say, do you have rent grants for people on SSI? It's rent grants for everyone. Next, go, consider utility assistance. The utility grants being given literally almost everywhere. And the way you reach those, get those utility grants, are the same way I just described. In addition, you call the utility companies. You call your water, your electric, your gas company and say, hey, are you doing your utility assistance programs? I'm having problems paying my bill because of the pandemic and they're doing it. Finally, food. What's important to understand is that when I talk about CARES Act 1 grants, there's also money that's being shelled out wonderfully, thank you, by religious charities and by private action groups, which the volunteers of this channel fully know about them because I talk about them all the time and they know the success story. They're even giving out portable space heaters to people who can't afford electric bills and are too cold, um, can't afford uh, he, he, uh, gas furnaces and are too cold. So go on youtube.com forward slash LLA forward slash community. Go to the community page and there's a list of volunteers there. I, I tweet throughout the day. That's about ten, uh, nine volunteers currently. Thank you for the volunteers. You're doing a wonderful job. Next, Escalate Benefits. Escalate Benefits is so easy and so simple. Get your 2019 tax return. Scan it or copy it or, fa or, or take a picture of it with your phone. Put it in your phone or your computer. And then write an email or send it electronically through the website of your unemployment department saying, Hi, I made this amount of money in 2019. Please see if I qualify for additional weekly benefits. Very simple. Additional weekly benefits. You will get additional weekly benefits and retroactively based upon your 2019 tax return. And the numbers are universally generally the same. If you made over $30,000, you'll raise your benefits about $200 a week to $300 a week, which if you bid on unemployment for 30-something weeks since February, that would be $9,000, bam, right in your account. If you raise your unemployment benefits by about $100 a week, that'll be about $6,000, bam, right in your account. And if you raise your unemployment benefits by about $50 a week, that'll be $1,500, $1, bam, right in your account. You'll generally be able to raise your account, your, your benefits about $50 a week if you made 
$18,000 or more 2019. It's $18,000 or more when you need to do this process. Under $18,000, I don't think it really helps you. $25,000 or more, you're raising about $100 a week, and $30,000 or more, you're raising about $300 a week. Boy, let's get to EIDL, which I'll have a little bit more in the video after this. EIDL is so simple. Go on sba.gov and apply economic injury disaster. It's the only lending instrument mentioned in this video. It's quick, it's simple, especially if you're a Grubhub or Uber or Lyft or, or side hustle person, use your Schedule C and get the money. More about that on Purple coming up in 15 minutes from now. And then after that is becoming a Mitch. Big developments on what Mitch McConnell is going to be doing for your stimulus with the CR. It's a big day. <laughs> <laughs> if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Also like this video. Coming up next, of course, is purple. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay in my life for more.